Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier and this is Ship Updates. Now, right off the bat, we got a new image from Sandy Gardner on Twitter. This image here. Now, I believe this is the Herald's command chair and cockpit because if you remember in a recent episode of ATV, we were shown a bit of the work in progress on the Herald, but they did mention that the, uh, the pilot's chair or the command chair was missing. And then, of course, we got this image here. Now, a few people thought that this might be the uh, pilot's chair of the Buccaneer, but usually um, going into concept sales, things like this aren't that refined. Now, of course, the Sabre was an exception, but the Sabre, of course, was further along than just a plain concept when it was sold. So I do believe that that is the command chair to the Herald. Now, in other Drake news, and it's a very Drake episode once again, the, the Caterpillar, they've been working on the um, interior concepting and interior design of the Caterpillar, and they've apparently got one module and pretty much finished, which is really good news. There are also, are also some uh, minor changes to the exterior that are going on and just some minor concept changes going on with some of the modules, of course. But it's nice to see the Caterpillar moving forward. And of course, the Caterpillar is the next large ship that we're going to get in Star Citizen. So that is definitely something to look forward to. But there was also another little snippet of news in regards to the Caterpillar. And that had to do with the Caterpillar's command module. Now, you can see this here. This is, of course, the detachable command module from the Caterpillar. Now, in further iterations of the Caterpillar, it was changed to a one-level uh, command crew pod but now it has been switched back to a split level so for all of all of you uh, and myself included who are a fan of this spit lo uh, spit level split level command pod it's back again now further uh, along with Drake news uh, we also found out that the Buccaneer the uh, concept sale price on that ship is going to be a hundred and ten dollars now we don't have any further details on that and there is a bit of a question mark around that price because I'm still... Well, I was trying to find the original quote uh, from Ben Lesnick where he said that the Buccaneer was going to be basically the same price as the Cutlass, which is $100 US currently. And that the Buccaneer was going to be a one-for-one -one trade with the Cutlass. Now, I'm, I was trying to track that post or that actual quote down, but the Cutlass thread is over a thousand pages and i think it was page 945 when he originally proposed the idea of the buccaneer back in november so as you can imagine the cutlass thread being an active thread uh, the chances of finding that exact quote unless someone else has it if if you do have it please put it in the comments below a link to that specific post where he says it but i believe it was still supposed to be a hundred dollars and not a hundred and ten but being a hundred and ten that puts it within reach or puts it at the Hornet and freelancer levels which does raise a lot of interesting possibilities that I will be discussing on the piracy show on Monday now we did get some further news uh, to do with uh, 2.4 now in 2.4 of course we are going to be getting the reliant in hangar and not only that we are going to be getting both the Starfarer and the Starfarer Gemini flyable in 2.4. So those are a lot of really cool things to look forward to in 2.4. Now as to when we're going to get 2.4, that's not so clear. They are still in their kind of closed PTU. They're sort of smaller PTU version now they were talking about it a little bit on reverse the verse today and uh, I mean I was hoping we would get an update as to when we could get into 2.4 but unfortunately no firm details uh, yet now they were praising the uh, the small group of players who are of course very dedicated uh, troubleshooters and rightly so that they would have them kind of vet this out before they give it to the wider audience and they were saying, you know, how this was a very dedicated group and how they could say, hey, do you guys want to go all test this or go test that? And they would more or less do it. And so it's been very productive for them. So they're, you know, they were kind of 
trying to make the the point today on reverse the verse that you know it's still the PTU but it it I, I guess it's semantics but it really isn't the PTU because it's not the public test universe it's still a little private test and it's behind an NDA so there's of the stuff that we are seeing that we're not supposed to see it's still not a PTU it's still like a little mini side uh, project that is not you know it's not publicly available so I don't really think that it's still considered the PTU but I don't know maybe that's just uh, a discussion for an entirely different forum but those were um, some of the uh, major updates this week there was also some other stuff um, the first ground vehicle is going to be the Ursa Rover, which I believe is the Rover that comes with the Connie. As to which versions of the Connie, I believe it's the Aquila and um, possibly the Phoenix that get the Ursa Rover, if I'm correct. Now, I know as soon as I said Aquila, there's probably a lot of you who are saying, no, it's Aquila. Actually, I have a coworker whose last name is Aquila, and when I call them Aquila, I was informed quite emphatically that it is an Italian word, it's pronounced Aquila, it means eagle, and it is not pronounced Aquila, like it's tequila. So I found that out the humiliating way. So that has been more or less all the updates. There really isn't that much more going on this week um, of course we're still waiting for Ben Lesnick to return there I mean there there are like some little snippets I mean in, at CIGHQ they're still waiting to get their hands on the uh, on the prototype of the SciTech HOTAS so they can kind of test it out I've more or less made my feelings known on the SciTech HOTAS I don't know if people want me to kind of go over that again because there, there have been a lot of new subscribers since um, so I kind of feel that it might be due for a revisit, but I don't know if people really want me to touch on that at all. Um, I kind of, in short, I kind of feel that, uh, the SciTech Ho HOTAS is, um, probably a bad idea. And, uh, yeah, I, I guess, you know what, I'll touch on that on the piracy show next week or on Monday I will uh, kind of dig into it and make my points about the SciTech OTAS again but um, yeah there really wasn't unfortunately that much this week apart from the fact that of course we have you know the Buccaneer to look forward to probably end of the month $110 so you're gonna have to have that money set aside and you know we do got some nice ships coming up flyable soon there was just one little other thing to do with the Cutlass, and um, they were saying it on Reverse the Verse today, and that the Cutlass remodel, which I was talking about a little bit last week, um, they were, I guess they're kind of more or less saying that once they have the look of the Caterpillar and the Herald down, they're going to use that for the remodel of the Cutlass. And now that's not to say that the Cutlass immediately, as soon as the Herald is done, which is apparently going to be relatively soon, and uh, the Caterpillar are more or less done, that they're going to go in and do the Cutlass right away. But it is something that is definitely on the schedule for the future, and uh, hopefully soon. Now, I know later this year we're supposed to begin the remodel of the 300i, so hopefully we will see that Cutlass remodel at some point this year. But, of course, the 300i is another ship that I want to talk about on the Piracy Show because I, I kind of said that I was going to talk about some of the ships that I really like, and the 300i is one of the ships that I do really, really like, and I think it's a really great ship, especially in its current iteration where it's doing 270 meters a second, and that's the base model. I want to talk about that. I think that that is one of the one of the ships in Star Citizen that I think has been designed very very well, with only a few minor quibbles. I think that it's going to be a great ship and a great platform along with its uh, its different variants moving forward into the PU. And I'll talk a bit about that, of course, on Monday as well. So that has been the show for this week. Once again, a little short, but. 
as we close in on Squadron 42 stuff, you know, details are going to get a little bit thinner and thinner until we get to uh, the final, you know, until we get to a point where they're ready to release a whole bunch of information and then once again the floodgates will open and we'll get all kinds of stuff. But anyways, yep, that is the show for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Quantum Travel Initiated.